One day, Elvis ran over to one of his friends, and that dog happened to have a tennis ball. Now, Elvis loved this dog. He was probably going to chase him and have fun. But instead, Elvis bent over and inhaled a tennis ball. I absolutely panicked. I brought him to the vet. Susan brought in Elvis, and he said that he swallowed a tennis ball. His vital signs were good, his temperature's okay, he wasn't dehydrated, his gums looked good. So we took an x-ray and found out there was a rather large tennis ball in the stomach sitting there unbroken. Still in shock, Susan listens carefully as Dr. Kuhlman explains the surgical option. Anytime you open up a dog's abdomen and retrieve something from the stomach or small intestinal tract, you have to worry about the bacteria. And without getting rid of the bacteria, that could be a death sentence. The only other option is to wait for Elvis to vomit the ball up on his own. I didn't choose the surgery option. I trusted that a dog would naturally try to throw up what was in his stomach. But I warned her that at any time if the ball moved into the small intestinal tract, it could become a serious problem, it could cause an obstruction, and the lack of blood supply to the intestinal tract could cause uh, death. She would know if, if this happened, if Elvis stopped eating, wouldn't drink, and started vomiting. With Dr. Kuhlman's warning weighing on her, Susan returns home with Elvis, hoping he vomits the tennis ball soon. Dr. Kuhlman told me it could be the next day, it could be weeks, it could be months. I had no idea what to expect. Fed him his regular food, and every morning he would throw up. I rubbed his belly, and we just had to wait it out. It was very scary to watch Elvis throw up without the tennis ball coming. After a week, Elvis did actually throw up the tennis ball. We were greatly relieved. A few days later, we were at the park again. Elvis was having fun. He saw two of his friends playing with their tennis balls ran over to play with them. But instead, he swallowed their tennis ball. My dog, Elvis, swallowed not only one tennis ball, but two. I was in shock. It was pretty unbelievable. I had to call Dr. Coleman again. Dogs swallow really crazy things, rocks and uh, metal, uh, shells, wood, uh, plastic. Masses, because of their size, have a much more likelihood of swallowing large objects. We went through the same routine. Elvis threw up every morning, but this time, there was no ball. We'd go to the park every day, and everything seems fine. Till that one day in the park, over in the distance, he sees tennis balls. I go running over, thinking, no, this cannot happen. He ran after this third tennis ball, scooped it up, swallowed it whole again. That's number three.